Welcome to the new series uh, that I'm calling Get Rich or Die Trying. We're going to be trying to make a million dukes as fast as possible, or uh, I will die to the zombies to try to do so. Let's get into it. What is up everybody, it is Milbury here with a new series of Get Rich or Die. The, the premise of this uh, series is to uh, see how fast I can get a million dollars in seven days to die, or a million dukes. This series is uh, inspired off of uh, an old series Woodle did. Uh, a, a few years ago, it's his was called uh, Millionaire, and uh, I think he did in like Alpha 18, Alpha 17, Alpha 18. Like uh, I can't remember, or it might have even might have even been 19. But he wanted to see like you just he if he couldn't make it before like the next episode, like the next update, he would uh. He wanted to see how much money he could make, or if he could make a million dollars that quickly. And so, the settings for this world is, uh, first off, the name is... Get Rich or Die, it's, uh... I'll put it up on the screen for you, so that way you're interested, and... If you're interested in playing, like, uh, you'll know how it's pronounced, it's, uh... It's got a, a little bit of a... Like, all the, uh, like, the first letter on every word is capitalized, and there's spaces in between the words. And, uh, world time is set to, um, 50 minutes. It's a little bit shorter than what I usually play, but should help me, uh, with the days going, going by faster, and also mean less time with me, uh, recording and all that. Uh, but... I digress. It's a, and this is, and if this, if I don't die within the first two weeks, I'm keeping his, and I do plan on making this a, a permit death series. The airdrops are set to every three days with a, um, and then you mark airdrops and. But yeah, just uh, one of those, it's like, I figured, you know, got inspired from by Jewel series and, you know, wanted to, wanted to give my own crack at it, see how I can do. So I'm going to do all my starter quests, and I will be back with you in just a moment once we get the trader quests. And I've done my starting quests, uh, just placed down the campfire, got the White River Citizen quest. Well, that quest is now done, so White River's a citizen. Let's see what we got, and just so you know I am starting... You do want to play along with me on this series. Uh, I am starting at 361 South by 2021 West, uh, around this area here. So let's take a look at our trader. So a nice little... Uh, so first trader is at... Uh, uh, let's see here after I mark them up. About five, uh, 570 south by 1300 west, so... And what I'm doing, what I want to do is, uh, before I get too crazy uh, with the trader, like, get all gung-ho with him, or her, you know, it could be Jen for all I know, uh, is I do want to see... I do want to try and get one more trader located on the map for some people will, you might ask like yo why if you don't know like with traders like they're the one thing is uh they do have item limits on what they can and can't take it's like uh one of those like when i was doing tests for my in my world of uh um 
you know, like when I was doing my definitive guide series, uh, and you do hit into like a item stack limits, like on the like item cell limits, and then you have to wait for the traders to uh, restock to start selling them more. So it's one of those. It's a having at least two traders to sell more stock means that I can get more cash going. You know, once uh, I get on, I get going later on with uh, doing all this. It's, yeah, with this series, it's definitely going to be a interesting series, uh, seeing you, like, what makes, uh, what makes you a lot of money and everything in the game, like, uh, if you want to just be really well off on trader stuff, like, you know, kind of just being able to buy trader stuff and no problem, and I have heard some things, and we do, I do want to try and get this deer here. Let's see if we can pick him off. <laughs> what is I can get a bone shiv early on? This would be excellent. Yeah, I'm heading the opposite way of the trader just to. Oop. Nancy, hello. Bunch of deer around here. I believe this is the one that I was hunting. Let's see. I don't have too many arrows at the moment, but I do want to hum, hum down. There we go, we got him. Only took like half my arrows, but it's something. We're, we're gonna make some progress here. But yeah, it's just one of those, it's like, see what, and also be a good way to see how fast you can, how you can level up your trader early on. There's the, the bone, oh, hello everyone. Got Sega, Steve, Penny, and Annie real quick. Appreciate you guys uh, roaming through, but. But yeah, this, uh, I am starting off on no bad difficulty, because I usually start off on, I usually start off on the, uh, adventurer difficulty. Uh, so, and if you saw my upload from yesterday, I did, uh, learn a very harsh lesson with, uh, going to the, going to the second, uh, the highest difficulty in the game. With, uh, this guy, Curly, he's, a uh, he hits like a tank uh, on those higher levels, so... Ow. Damn it. But yeah, these guys are giving me trouble. I don't really want to go to melee this early on. Uh, I definitely want to try to get some armor going. Flashlight, that's good for getting you guys some light sources in dark areas. I just want the feathers, please, thank you. Of course, uh, stamina being an issue early on, of course. Let's see here. Bunch of... Now we can start harvesting stuff better and... Start crapping some arrows. I know they're getting close. And just take care of these <laughs> folks real quick. early find with uh, getting uh, oh, getting an antibiotic uh, from a nurse and 
Come on, Curly. Learn how to go down for once in your life. God, Curly is so freaking stubborn with his health. More feathers. Excellent, excellent. Come on. There we go. Thank you for the lark, really. Anyways, back to where I was, uh... So, a little bit sorted on an old, uh, antibiotics front for a second. We only got the one, but, hey, it's something to work with. Um... What I am gonna do is, I do wanna... I do wanna curve these uh, bodies up, because... One of those I do, I want to get a, a pile of bones to start up early on, because I think I heard that, like, you know, duct tape sells really well to the trader, so can get, get some early money going on, you know, like, once I have a campfire and a, believe I need a cooking pot for a, a um, to make glue, because you can just make, uh, duct tape via glue and, um, and cloth. That's like, it's one of those, cotton's going to be a very, uh, very good resource early on to have. Um, I actually scrapped this bow down just so I can have a better bow. Oh, got Penny. Hello, hello. No, please don't. I don't need a. I don't need your wet slaps. Come on. Distracting all the ladies today. Try to avoid getting ahead from these ladies. And one penny is down. You get your healthy helping of yours. There you go, sweetie. Marla, come here. There we go. And what you got? There we go. Some water, getting basic supplies going. I just want to keep going, uh, probably to the west or some, you know, like, just get away from them. Probably not going to make too much money, but it's like it's only day one. Like, uh, I only start out with, if I only have zero, then it's no big deal. I'm just trying to, you know, get a uh, get a bearing on the world and you know, see what's going on. There, Nancy wanted to speak with me. Uh, I'm just in 60 T-Rex. Let's see. Where'd that deer go? Come on. There you are. There we go, got that tear. Excellent. More animal hide means more leather. And more food. <laughs> Just keep me satiated. Alright, that's done. And... Aha! Second trader. Very nice, very nice. So, uh, we're looking really good for a second, uh, for having a couple places to sell. And we got the planes by them, so... One of those can sort myself out on food early on and... Just, you know, just pick up all this cotton as I go, just so I can have, uh... 
Uh, so I can just uh, pick all the uh, get a uh, cloth armor. Perfect. Deer stuck on a rock. Um, got company coming. Take out a little penny here. And got some ammo for me. Mikey, good to see you with your swag, buddy. There we go. Got Bob and another penny and get Nance. Oop, missed the shot. Yeah. Come on, Bob. You know you know you wanna go down. Oops. Did hit Nancy in the back, so and get Bob taken care of. One less threat. Make a nice new club for Take on the ladies here, go clubbing with them. Yeah. Come on. You know you better go down. Damn it, Curly. Asshole. Try and hit Nancy here. Just. So tanky. A bit of wellness and some food and some painkillers. I actually should take a painkiller right now just to. I know it's like water's valuable, but. I can afford a painkiller. Found some of the water off the zombies, so. Trying to keep uh, trying to keep myself uh, clear of Curly's swings because he hits like a truck. Drink a bit of water for some stamina regen. Finally dead. Now let's just see who this traitor is over here. Who's wanted to take their bets on Bob? I'll put their bets on Bob here because I'm because uh, usually I wind up with Bob as my first traitor that I see. I just noticed that my trader marker went went past and uh, it went away, and it's like we have three traders. So, wow. <laughs> so definitely not gonna have to worry too much about about the uh, the old uh, trader stuff. You know, like uh, trader stocks. My bad. But, so that's a, that's an interesting little thing. It's like we got. Cause like yeah, it just flipped here. It's like a yeah. You can see it flip over there. It's like if we can find some place to set up between the uh, the three three traders. It's like or or uh, one that's not too far away from the uh, the uh, traders to the east. Like we could just set up shop over there and like you know just have two sources for. You know, sell it, and then you know, have this uh, trigger be the last uh, one. You know, like in case we have to stock up, or we'll have to sell more stock and everything. 
Um, got more cloth on the way. Make sure I grab that old armor. Don't want to eat the cat food of all things. Uh, drop that. So I got some cloth boots. Chest armor. Got some head armor. Oh, that that that's a bear. That is a big bear. Don't see those too often on the console version. It's like that is the old bear. Oh, there's a military barracks we can I could hold up there for the for the night. If I if need be. Which I probably will. Just kinda nerd pull my way in there. Get some extra food, um scrap you. There we go, there's a bird's nest. I like the you know, more feathers than that, but can't beggars can't be choosers. Ooh. Um, just looking for more bird's nests. What do you got for me? Some denim pants. I'll take that. <laughs> just wear that over the plant fiber. And just pick them. Let's just see who this is, though. Um, very close. Are you kidding me? It's it's Bob again. I'm not really surprised at this point. He's, he's kind of become a meme. And to me, at this point, I'm just like, I know he's an old friend, but come on, let's go see. Do got to be careful, with dogs. Though there is a chance of them uh, coming after me. Just close the door behind me, and Bob, you here, hmm, bud? Where you at? How are we doing? Howdy, survivor. Make yourself at home. Um. For now, I'll just uh, sell you the 762, so. Come and sell again. the, uh. <laughs> that stuff, and we'll just raise compound while we're here. Unfortunately, I'll get kicked out at nighttime. Anything used to me. Um, don't really care for that. Uh, more painkillers than a bandage, coffee beans, and eh. murky water. We'll just eat this can of food. is always good, so. I'm not gonna risk it, though, just looting his compound, like, you know, being, you know, stranded at night. We're gonna go hit up that... I'm gonna meet you at the military base in just a second. Hey, you may be wondering how am I gonna get through the... get into the... Uh, military base here <laughs> if uh you know it's well fortified very simple wood frames are the answer to my problems there <laughs> these guys are very <laughs> like wood frames can get you out of a lot of different scenarios um I am just going to Jump on the roof for the night for uh, to take refuge. And 
Look at that, my own personal little staircase. I don't want to. I don't want to go down there because it's like this is infested with zombies, and I was thinking about taking refuge on one of the guard towers uh, for. Uh, I just get the flashlight out here for you guys. Uh, yeah, like I was one to take take on refuge, but one of the guard towers. But my luck, uh, they'd. Uh, these guys would just uh, destroy the the wood tower and just gonna let the uh, zombies uh, take the you know, little Charlie out there just uh, let him beat on the fence. You know, he can he might make an entrance for me overnight or at least uh, give me like, a week enough. So so I'm gonna leave this episode here on you know, a little bit of cliffhanger and I thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care everybody.